This is where we're gonna go deep with it. Okay, so if I had money to bet and there was a way that I could bet on this, there might mm -hmm. be soon. The future of audio is additive synthesis. There's gonna be huge breakthroughs in the next 20 years and they're all going to be linking AI and additive synthesis. And this is why. No, really think like, so we have a sine wave down here, right? Or here, let's make it a sine wave. Yeah. We can just like add any harmonic to it. That allows us to get, in many ways, any any wave as a result. You can just see it messing around down there as I change. And then with the FM aspect of it, it just gives us a whole other way that we can create new waveforms from this. So it really is like a pretty simple routing. You can either add harmonics or you can FM oscillators together. Those are like the two steps. And we can come up with this huge range of resulting waveforms. And then here I'm going to, I won't do this very often, but we're going to talk about math. <laughs> wow. All right. We're not going to talk about math for very long, but it's, <laughs> it's cool. Fourier transform. The idea here is that there is a mathematical way that you can take any graph or function. And so a way that you, we in audio would call that a waveform. But like if you showed a waveform to a mathematician, they would be like, all right, well, I can write something that says Y equals blah, 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 blah. And it'll draw that on my graphing calculator. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So there's a guy, Joseph Fourier, who has figured out a thing where he's like, I can take any graph or waveform that you give me, and then we can run it through my transform, and the results will be a million different individual little like points that make up the entire graph. And so the, how we would say that in audio is I can take a waveform and apply this to it and result with a bunch of different sine waves at different volumes, and it'll just sound like the waveform that you gave me. Does that make sense? Kinda. All right, we're gonna do it right now. So, and I downloaded today this <laughs> silly program called Spear, which was last updated to be compatible with Windows XP, but seems to work okay on my computer. That's hilarious. <laughs> um, Absolutely amazing information <laughs> there. Literally just a Fourier transform tool. Hey. Okay. All right, Scott, I'm gonna play our source audio. You're gonna get echo for a second. So here we go. You wanna, wanna see, see the, the homies, homies at 10, 10 in the lobby. lobby. Yeah, we yeah, in the, the joint. joint. This, this ain't, ain't no, no fucking, fucking hobby. hobby. We can import that. And then it gives me this little thing. And so it's like sinusoidal partial analysis. And the, basically what it's asking me here, because again, what I am telling this program to do is I'm like, I just gave you audio and you're going to just say, okay, this is a waveform. We're going to recreate it just using a million different sine waves at different, uh, different, volumes okay does that yeah. make sense <laughs> yeah like, what you're saying like i uh, <laughs> like understand conceptually okay cool what it'll the rest will come like, together you're like i'm adding this up with a bunch of different sine waves to equal the sound exactly <laughs> yes so when i import it it's like okay what resolution do you want to do and it's in hertz so it's basically just like how far like how many frequencies do you want me to try and create you want me to do like a million billion whatever so we'll hit uh analyze with the default shit you can see it crunching along here three two one bam oh yeah this happened last time so what then it creates a new instance of the program which it's been crunched in i want to see the homies at 10 in the lobby yeah we in the drink this ain't no fucking hobby gotta get that dough get that skrilla on poppy yeah that's the beauty slap way okay right <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> Yeah. And then like when we play it back, it's like, it sounds pretty good, but you could still see it sounds like bad quality at best. You know what I mean? Yeah, we in the joint. So that is why this is the future though. It's because problems like that, where it sounds like it, but it's bad quality, is just a matter of it running longer, right? So like in this instance, I told it to separate by 40 Hertz, where if I had like set this to be the maximum and let it run overnight with this super inefficient shit, then it would, you know, be sound better, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then this is also a stupid program that it runs in a way that's explicitly like humans designed it, you know what I mean? Right, right. You could just uh, have an AI do a lot of that work, really just like do the Fourier analysis and then optimize it for the frequencies that we need 
speed and optimize it to go as fast as possible and then use FM synthesis and additive synthesis to generate it in the fewest amount of steps possible. Instead oh. of just doing this with, um, by having like a million different oscillators stacked, I just proved in an operator, right, that you can have one oscillator create a million different harmonics and you can control the volume of those different harmonics all within one oscillator. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, that that actually kind of closed the loop for me there. That was, a you know, an old school example. This is about as new school as it gets. This is Ableton 11 beta device spectral resonator. So not out yet. Get on that beta program, motherfuckers. <laughs>